Hello everyone, what's up? Well today it's a new feeding video, so it's been a while since we last posted one. Um, I believe it was a little more than two weeks ago. So I just got the crickets in on Friday and now it's Sunday, September 11th. Um, now I have some time to actually make the feeding video for you guys uh, before I go to a long day of work. So we're going to get started going from the top row all the way down to the bottom row. Hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Alright, the first tea we're going to feed is my Lassiodora difficilis, the Brazilian fire red bird eater. Mm. Dora, she's a 5 inch female. There we go. Alright, here's my A. urticans female, the giant Peru pink toe. Yeah, I think she got it. Wow. Pretty sweet. Well, she's certainly a pretty one. This one here is a Brachypalma Classy, the Mexican pink. Five inch female named Petunia. Alright, Petunia, here we go. <laughs> Just like an arboreal. Meh, that's just really terrestrial. Pretty cool. Yep, it's your setup basically. Uh, terrestrial setup. It's doing great. Alright, here we have a Sarah Jarvis Marshali, the straight horn baboon. Marsha. She's made a lot of webs for herself. Here's a super room for you. There we go. Perfect. Here's Chloe, a Euathlis Tricholuntis, or Parafiza Paravula. Uh, this one's called the Chilean Beautiful. Got this one at a pet store. Very rare to find one like this. Alright, that's the one that grabbed my tongs the last time. Yeah, she's very picky the way you feed her. There we go. She's like my Rosea. She fats a lot on some occasions and she's just a very, very slow eater. Here's another update on my S. Crassy Peeps, the Australian Whistling Tarantula. Um, I gave a super worm, she took her sweet time to actually pop out in the open, so I guess it was a good opportunity. I'll give her another one, I'll see if she's interested, I don't think so. But we'll see. Come on, you can get it. And I guess maybe or maybe not. No. Alright, let's see some more interesting attacks. Hopefully much better than the last two we just saw. Alright, so this one here is a Gramasola Poker Peas, the Chaco Goldney, that's Wendy who's an immature female. Oh, nice. Alright, big Somalpoas Arminia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Josie, who is a four and a half inch fully mature female. Alright. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Superworm is good as gone. Right, for XB Prince 70, he requests me to film a couple of teas as a request, so 
I'm going to throw them in, in the feeding video. So the first request was, I believe, uh, my Salon Post camera drive, the Trinidad Chevron. So here's my 7 plus inch female. Really hasn't changed much since the previous videos I have of her. So, see what she does. Wow. That's all I could say. Gorgeous female, though. Full grown. That's one of the largest of the members. Huh, glad I sucked this one in. Alright, this is a Scytheracanthus Living Stony, the Livingston's Tarantula. Mystery. There we go. A little lazy there. Yeah, finally caught it. Guess what I got? She finally molted. Oh my god, after like two months, or three months in pre-molt, not eating, she finally has, and my oh my, is she very beautiful. You can see her hot pink carapace really well. Not as bright as Michaela's, but she's still very good. Nice red abdomen. Oh, no, sorry, brown abdomen. She's not the red form. She's pretty cool. Alright, I guess I won't feed her because she molted. Next. Alright, this one here is a juvenile male. Acanthus guria geniculata, the Brazilian giant white knee. Not the white banded, that's the Brocco Hursty. Alright. He has a very good appetite, so that's why you see him in a lot of my feeding videos. So, and yeah, you see why. Great tea to own. Uh, seems Amber is really interested in me handling her. She's my Euthalus species red. Just put it in a super worm there, and clearly she's not interested in eating. But she's certainly interested in webbing. That's pretty cool to see. Hey, you. You want to go another one? There we go. See, she's not that aggressive at all. I actually recommend Euthalus uh, species red to be a good handling pet versus uh, the Trichalentus. The Trichalentus is just like the Rosea. Um, very temperamental. Yeah, this one is not bad at all. She's actually really sweet. And a full grown female too. There you go. Just got a little handling video of this one. Nice. Alright, so this one here is a U Palestras Wagenbrookie, the white collared. Ooh, nice. Love that. And there's lovely Serena. She's actually a two-year-old Wagenbergie. Very, very slow-growing, but extremely long-lived. Alright. Let's do more. Alright, this is Necroth. Uh, suspect female Lassiodora Klugi, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Alright. <laughs> Look at her wrestling that. There we go. Yeah, can't wait to see how this one will turn out once she gets bigger. It'll be around 10 inches, the same as the LPs. This is going to be very difficult to see and manage. Uh, this one here is a Holotheli in CD. She's over there. Grabbed it. Kilobrachis guanaciensis, the Chinese fawn, Shulin, who's a 
three and a half inch female. I was going to say four, but that's a little bit too overestimated. Alright. She, she's pretty big, and of course in one year. She's big. Alright, and about an hour into this feeding video, now we're going to feed our very first pokey, the Pocotheria fasciata, Sri Lankan ornamental. <laughs> there we go. You gotta love your pokies. Yeah, this one's very male. Here's one that actually breathes fire. <laughs> I mean, super mean. Vermictopus concerides, Haitian brown bird eater. It's about a four inch female named Isabel. See what I mean? Holy crap. That was so quick and she sure hits hard, that's for sure. Look at Sephora's pretty colors. So that's a P. Rufalata, the Red Sight Ornamental. That's it. XB Prince's uh, final request was to see the Aleda, the Puerto Rican Pink Toes. Uh, by far one of the easiest uh, AVIX I care for. Um, did not have any deaths with these species yet, so it's pretty good. So this one here is uh, Molly, I think, or Mona. I forgot which ones. Uh, you don't really seem interested. Alright, let's go feed the other one. Uh, this one actually m might possibly be a male. Uh, just because I see some darkening on his front pair of legs. Could be a sign. Yeah, let's see if this one will eat. Yep, yeah, there we go. That one did. Yep, yeah, that's what they look like. Well, here's an update on Mia, my Goody Sapphire Ornamental, Pocotheria Metallica. Well, this one is a very, very female. As you can see, uh, her abdominal patterns are quite bright. And if you check back with my mature male many feeding videos ago, you'd be able to see... Um, that it wasn't so bright. He's actually a lot more darker colored, so that's pretty interesting. I just put two super worms in there. She's not interested in feeding, but I guess I'll just uh, throw it in as an update just to give you an idea of what she looks like now. Yeah, perfect example of what happens when I record and the teas don't attack until I stop recording. She's actually eating it right now. Well, she's a very beautiful specimen. I mean, like, almost uh, three inches uh, big now. Alright, so now we're going to feed another one. My pokies. This one's a Tigrina Wesseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Uh, this one here is Tina. Uh, also a confirmed female. Uh, she's approximately four inches. So, go ahead and up her enclosure so you can actually see what I do to feed them. Okay, so now I take my tongs. Shorter ones. There she is. She's very pretty.
There we go. Awesome. Love it. Here's Annette, Brachypelma Baggins, the Mexican Red Rump. Ooh, I think she's hungry. Ooh, nice. Finally. <laughs> Here's Lucy, my largest Cirrocosmos. This one here is a Perez Molesi, the Bolivian Dwarf. Yeah, she caught it. Nice. Alright, gotta go change the battery. Alright, here's my Summon Post Polker, the Pama Blonde. I had good luck with my Erminia and Camera Dry eating, so. Hopefully I can get three for three for my Summon Pose collection. And yes, I did. Alright, here's my fully mature Tapnikinius Gigas, the orange tree spider. Female. <laughs> I can always count on her to eat. Yeah, she's probably going to get like two more inches and she's full grown. They stand at five and a half inches, one of the largest members in the genus. Here's another tappy. This one here is a Sancti Vincenti, the St. Vincent's tree spider. Ooh, that was scary. She went for my tongs and she was climbing up them. There we go. Yeah, she caught it. Very scary species. Not as scary as uh, Stromatopelma calciatum, but <laughs> scare me enough. Yes, this is the one I'm talking about. The S. calciatum, the feather like baboon. Wow, sure looks very big. Concerning got her two years ago as a half an inch spiderling, and she's probably around three and a half inches now, close to the four. Uh, let's see, she'll eat, I don't think so. Nice specimen. Alright, next one. Now, this video is going to be hitting a very sad note. Uh, I was just checking my E. Moranus tank. Uh, it looked okay, and then unfortunately I saw this. Uh, she unfortunately passed away. Um, I don't know what the cause of death was. Um, thinking it could have been a little too dry in there. Uh, anyways, yeah, the way she goes. This really sucks, but Anyways, you know, nothing I can do, so I'm going to go ahead and put her in the freezer, and uh, that'll be that. Alright, here's Athena, my Brachypalma Smithy, the Mexican Red Knee. Awesome. Good feeding. Alright, this is Daisy, the female Lassiodora Parahibana, the Salmon Pink Bird Eater. And I have some news to tell you, so I'm going to keep you in suspense until the end of the video. So let's see how well she eats. Here's Joelle, my adult female P. Ornata, the fringed ornamental. Let's look at the colors on this one. Wow, she's beautiful. It's 
got like a dark subdued brown color on her. I guess she didn't like that comment. <laughs> Alright, so here's my P Formosa. Ah, looks like she molted. I guess no wonder uh, she wasn't eating in the past feeding videos. Her fangs look black, which means she's okay to feed. So, let's try. Yeah, I guess she's not interested in it. Let's remove the molts. Yeah, I would say she's a good six, six and a half inches now. She's not going into the camera. The camera's really not picking up the colors well, especially with all the subdued lighting I have. Uh, yeah, there she is. She looks amazing. Let's try a mature male. As you can see, the tibial hooks and the bubbles pedipalps. Pompobedius platyama, the pink bloom bird eater. Nicola. And he's so purple. See if he'll eat. Oh, nice. Perfect. Alright, so in about two hours into the feeding video, I have about 44 teas left to feed. Alright, so here's one of them. Uh, this is my Theraphosa Stormy, the Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. Hans, the mature male. And then soon you're going to meet Gretel. There we go. Good boy. Here's my Vicalaria Versicolor, the Antilles Pinto. So, here's Trinity. Let's see, she'll eat. There we go. What a good girl. Hope I have the flashlight to give you an idea what she looks like. Yeah, in case you really don't see her very well, uh, she's got a really green metallic carapace with a red abdomen. Here's an Eberfessens, the burgundy skeleton. Instantly. Alright, this is the very first feeding attempt of Pocotheria hanumavila simica, the Remish Worm Ornamental. Oh, I think I'm, I just missed the attack. Oh dear. I think I got it. I'm not sure, but so cool. You see she has got an average size cricket in there. A little juvenile. Enjoy. Well I tried to feed my Hedescraja Maculata the Togar Starver's Baboon and she is not in a happy mood. It's a very defensive species. And up on the critter keeper, so I'm not going to bother to feed her until uh, she gets down there. Here's big old Stacy, the Bracky Palma Albiceps, the Mexican gold red rum. Yeah. That's what I wanted to see. Here we have some T. gigas, the orange tree spiders, so. We're going to feed uh, some slings. Alright, that one took it no problem. I guess there's one more. Hmm. 
Here's Goma, my LP, female, smallest one. Okay. But also the quickest. Here is George, an immature male, Megaphobema robustum, Colombian giant red leg. Ah, uh, yeah, he ate it. Yeah, it's a pretty boy. Here's Genesis, Zenethus imanus, the Colombian lesser black. Ooh, nice one. Canthoscuria brocklehursti, the giant white bandit. Sasa, who's a five inch female. Beautiful. All right, adult female GBB, Chromatopalma cyanopubescens. Oh my god, she likes superworms! Hurrah, this is the first. Cool. I'm happy. And here is Daniela, the last LP. Also a little big female. Wow. That's the quickest I've ever seen her. This one is not going to come out clear. Uh, this one here is a Vicularia hurriana, the Ecuadorian woolly pink toe. Oh. Ooh, that was a nice one. Yeah, this is possibly my most gentle avix. Brachypelma smithy, the Mexican redney. Scarlet. That looks like she did a little bit of hair caking. Good girl. Four and a half inch, or no, five inch sub adult female. Here's Morticia, a large female Bacupalma vagans, the Mexican red rump. You see in my sling, eat now we'll see an adult female. Yep, here we go. Big female. Here's my 20 year old female Bacupalma bobi, the Mexican far leg, Katana. Here's Gretel, mature female, Theraphosa sturmi. One that's supposed to be pregnant. Yeah, but she's certainly very fat. Give her one more. Here's a Rachypalma Emilia, the Mexican painted red lake. She's pretty fat. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, Rachypalma Aratum, the Mexican flame me. So this one here is the suspect male. Good job. Here's the confirmed female. No problem. This one here is the Brazilian smoky gray bird eater, Lassiodora fracta. Heh <laughs> 
gotta love those last year Doras. Here's Lenofeli Megatherlodes, the Brazilian, no, Bolivian funnel web. There's the one, I get the second cricket. There we go. Make sure I gotta close this one here. Look how fast this one is. Last but not least, took me three hours to get to this tea. And it's the last one. Gramasola rosea red color form. That cricket's over there. There we go. Love it. And to end out the feeding video, a little short clip of Maggie, my dog. Seven year old female chitsu. Sit. Roll over. Roll over, Maggie. Roll over. Roll over. Okay. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Come on. Come on. She's the cutest, isn't she? Now for the good news. Oh, got this message from Longzone666, who's Jesse. As you know, uh, I loaned Lawrence my mature male LP to him, and this is the news. Well, the female is laying a sack as I type this. It looks like a big one too. So far, so good. If you reply to this, if you want pics, try to send me some message on Arachnoboards because I never check my YouTube messages. Take care, Jesse. Awesome. That is so cool because um, wanted to see how much LPs I'll get. I'll probably get at least two, three hundred, and most of them will be for sale uh, when I get them. So I'll let you guys know. And uh, my deepest condolences to um, Ixil. Um, if you guys read on Arachnoboards, uh, there was a ongoing thread about Melly, uh, her Girazea, and webbing. She did everything possible to try to save uh, the T's life and there was occasions where she got a little bit better and then she did very well and then right after she really started going down and unfortunately that uh, we suggested that uh, she had to be put in the freezer uh, because uh, she was just suffering too much so it's kind of hard to see you know to watch a video like this especially um, uh, your very first tea that died and it sucks you know like just as Rob sees to Zilla me to Curly Sue and to extol um, Melly so my deepest calls and squad to her and I do hope you enjoyed this uh, theme video for what it was and hope you enjoy it all right see you guys